Okay, so we're guilty as charged. No sooner do we put to bed the polling on the 2010 midterm elections than it's time to stir up the 2012 presidential brew. The morning line? Well, President Obama's plate is certainly very full, dealing with the fallout from this November's shellacking. His approval rating? Well, it's at a low point of 42%, below what he probably needs to renew his four-year lease on the White House. Team Obama desperately needs to figure out how to rally his Democratic base without turning off middle-of-the-road independents. But right now he's lost popularity with Democrats and he hasn't improved with independents. To make things worse, even Democrats and Democratic-leaning independent voters are split over whether they'd welcome a Democratic challenge to Obama in 2012. 45% say yes, 46% say no. Democrats want the party to become more liberal. Independents hope things become a little bit more conservative there. Obama seems caught somewhere in this murky middle. But remember, the oldest adage in politics is you have to beat somebody with somebody. And the Republicans haven't exactly sorted out their field of candidates. Of the current crop of possible Republican presidential wannabes for 2012, none gets more than 20% right now. And in head-to-head -head matchups, Obama beats Sarah Palin and Mitt Romney and Mike Huckabee, the GOP's other strong contenders, just run competitively against Obama, despite the political setbacks Obama's had. To be successful, the GOP needs to reconcile its moderate and conservative wings with the emerging Tea Party movement. So, don't write President Obama's political obituary just quite yet. There's still a pulse in there, despite his sagging approval rating. For the Marist Poll, I'm Lee Maringoff.